Hello, 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 humanity. Sorry uh, uh, it took so long. I had uh, all intentions on coming and uh, bringing you guys some more uh, recipes uh, last night, but uh, unfortunately, uh, things just didn't work out that way. So uh, you remember, uh, hopefully you remember the last time uh, uh, I came on and uh, I said that I would uh, try to come a little bit more frequently because uh, those of us that... uh, are still in the struggle or just barely coming out of it uh, we still remember the endless cravings the uh, endless uh, uh, consumptions of sugar and what have you and the uh, uh, the need to have variety in our diets because we struggle you know we we need to just turn over all of the rocks that uh, can provide obstacles for us and uh, boredom with our eating when we have come out or we're still trying to come out of such an unhealthy relationship with food um, uh, I have to wonder if uh, a variety in menus could be to our ben- benefit as opposed to our detriment well anyway I want to bring I'm gonna I'm going to try uh, at least to bring you quite a bit tonight uh, this uh, egg foo young uh, recipe that uh, I made this about a couple of days ago it is so affordable and so easy to prepare it's almost unbelievable all you do is take uh, uh, two eggs if you're doing one serving which will provide you with two patties and so you know all you do is just increase that if you're doing four patties you'll do four eggs if you're doing six patties you'll do six eggs you know just you know just you know uh add it up according uh to uh the quantity so like i said i just did um I did two patties, and uh, all I did was I took two eggs, and uh, I put uh, mozzarella cheese. You know, you can also put um, I put other shredded cheeses uh, if you prefer, but just make sure it it doesn't uh, go over a tablespoon because you don't want your uh, patties to be cheesy. Well, maybe you do. Who knows? You know, that personalization and that customization is important as well. So uh, I took the two eggs, I uh, beat them up, uh, maybe about uh, not even quite a minute. I put in uh, uh, two tablespoons of mozzarella cheese. I put in some chicken, uh, the chicken powdered bouillon. And you know, I I use the chicken powdered bouillon, but uh, I see them advertising this other bouillon. And uh, of course you can use that as well. Any kind of bouillon of your choice, just try to make sure it's not uh, loaded with sugar because you know, that's a lot of our, uh, a lot of what we struggle with. um, uh, Those of us that have had the problem with sugar. So stay mindful of that. And so then I put in one fourth, uh, one fourth cup of chopped onions, uh, uh, two tablespoons of chopped green onions, one fourth cup of uh, chopped uh, bell uh, bell peppers, one fourth cup of chopped celery, and make sure that's finely chopped because you don't want it just protruding so far out of your patties. And then I uh, put in. Uh, one half teaspoon of a teriyaki sauce and remember we've talked about that over and over and over again the larger of the spoons is the tablespoon the smaller of the uh, spoons is the teaspoon and so you're going to uh, take um, you're going to take a half of a teaspoon and uh, and, and put uh, teriyaki sauce and then you're going to put in one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce hopefully you can find the uh, low sodium uh, the low sodium brand and then um, I put in one fourth teaspoon of uh, uh, onion soup mix so that's uh, less than half of the smaller spoons and then I also uh, I put in um, a fourth a cup of chopped finely washed and chopped mushrooms but um, you know remember uh, all of the recipes are meat friendly so you may want to get a lean cut of uh, of uh, chicken breast a lean cut of turkey or maybe some shrimp who knows just chop it up real fine and then put it uh, uh, in your mixture uh, one tablespoon of uh, chopped uh, shredded carrots 
and then uh, uh, two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of uh, garlic powder, a uh, fourth of a uh, teaspoon or either a full teaspoon of black powder. And all you're going to do is just stir all of that together. Get your uh, skillet uh, hot with uh, either cooking uh, cooking spray or one uh, teaspoon of, uh, of uh, cooking um uh, vegetable uh, cooking oil and then you'll place that in the skillet I used a griddle uh, this time as a matter of fact so if you have a griddle uh, that'll do uh, as well you can put the uh, put your oils put your oil I'm sorry on your griddle and then uh, the thing is uh, when you're making the uh, egg foo young patties the egg will uh, you know it'll go out it'll venture out over your uh, over the circumference of whatever you're cooking with the trick to with your uh, egg foo young you want to get your spatula or you want to get you uh, uh, still you know a non uh, um, non-flammable uh, spoon and you're going to bring the uh, you know you're going to uh, pour your mixture uh try to pour it in a circular form and then as it spreads out what you're going to try to do is use your spoon or your spatula and bring it back into that circular formation and that's the trick to uh, uh trying to get your uh, uh patty to sustain itself and that's real real easy believe me because uh you know eggs fry real real quick and all you're going to do is brown it on uh, uh, brown it on one side for maybe about uh, uh, three to four minutes and you'll know it's good because it'll brown and then brown it on the other side uh, uh, for three or four minutes you're going to put that to the side and then you're going to make your gravy which is really simple in a skillet you'll let it get hot one tablespoon of oil and I used um, I used, uh, I cut up a one-fourth cup of uh, onions, one-fourth cup of celery, one-fourth cup of uh, bell pepper, and then uh, uh, I sauteed that for maybe a minute in that same skillet, add maybe about another uh, tablespoon or your cooking spray of oil, and then you're going to put in, I used uh, uh, one tablespoon of almond flour, one, uh, uh, one teaspoon of oat flour, and then one tablespoon of pecan flour. And then I stirred all of that, you know, sauteed that with the oil. Make sure it doesn't burn for maybe about two minutes. And then you're pouring water gradually. You don't want to go over, you know, you start out with one-fourth cup. The more uh, loose you want your gravy, then you'll just add a little bit more water. One more one-fourth cup, How you know, however that goes. And you don't want it to stick. And uh, uh, I think I have given you guys a, uh, uh, a tangible copy of the uh, tangible uh, of the uh, cauliflower rice. If I didn't, I'll bring that back to you. And then you just serve your uh, your uh, uh, onion um, onion gravy over your. Um, over your uh, egg foo young patties. I didn't use, uh, I didn't have uh, uh, cauliflower rice. I used a cauliflower uh, potato salad with no eggs. I'm going to end this now and then I'll bring you that recipe uh, immediately. But uh, feel free to just use your uh, regular uh, cauliflower recipe and you know that's easy. All you're doing is getting your florets, washing them, putting them in the chopper and uh, making it uh, resemble rice. Okay, you know how we do it, uh, humanity. I'm going to go and get it and then bring it back to you. Okay, bye-bye.